Hello, friends and lovers. Welcome to Let's Revolution. This is a brand new sort of minesweeper, but a little more complicated roguelike. It's actually really good. We covered this game in the past during the demo. I absolutely loved it. This is a sponsored video, but I was really happy to play it just because I really enjoyed the demo. And now that it's out, I'm also, you know, happy to play it again anyway. It is also out on all consoles on the Switch, on PlayStation Store, and on Xbox. Check it out there. It also sits on Steam and has like 94% positive reviews right now. It's only been out for, gosh, a day or a week or something like that. Not long at all here. Anyway, let's check it out. Let's thank our sponsorship for helping me out and uh, paying me for play a game I was going to play anyway. <laughs> let's, we're going to check out the tutorial just so we know what's up. And that way, hopefully, we don't rely on my bad explanation in order for people to understand the game. But we'll try to also get a run going after that, okay? Hey, stranger, Ron King got you down. Well, now is your chance to rise up. He's right over there. Let's take a look. They're going to show us the board here. It has been a little bit since I played, so I might be a little bit rusty, but maybe it'll work out in our favor here if we're all still fresh to it. Who might you be? Does another loyal subject wish to kiss my ring? Bro, someone needs to put that good for nothing king in his place. Maybe you. Excuse you, it is forbidden to talk of the king in that tone. Let's deal with his guards first. You'll do no such thing, guards. Seize them. We'll see about that. Here you are. So this is our character here. Select a highlighted tile to move there. Enemies will attack after a set number of turns regardless of where you are. So it doesn't matter whether we're close or far. Select this tile to move closer. Okay. This guard's clock is now full. He is about to attack. So the clock appears... Okay, so they do have health from the top right, I'm seeing. So this enemy has two health. They have one health. This must be the clock that they're talking about, right? The countdown when it's red, they're about to attack. Watch and learn, soldier. Stick them, stick them good. Enough. Close the distance so you can attack him back. So they attacked right after we moved. Ouch, you lost a health. Don't worry, you look like you can take a hit. So there's our health up there. A palpable hit. Now give them a good smack for the king. Okay, here comes a big one. And they're about to attack too. Time for some payback. Select roundhouse. So we got three different abilities down here, it looks. Roundhouse, bow, and energy tonic. So select the roundhouse. It's going to cost eight energy to use. And attacks all around us. It killed the one health enemy. That oaf just killed him. How rude. Stop them at once. <laughs> One down, two to go. Now move up. Get into position to roundhouse again. No bow, huh? Watch this, your majesty. I will smite them in your name. Uh-oh, roundhouse requires energy. We only got four. Good thing you have an energy tonic. So they want me to use that. It's a free action, so using it won't count as a turn and cause an enemy to attack. Does that mean the bow is also a free action? Since it's on the right side here, I'm kind of curious if it specifies that or not hmm not sure select the energy tonic you got it select ourselves to drink it then we can use roundhouse again to deal one more damage to them all clear okay so you don't have to kill the king okay how preposterous you will be punished you eliminated all the enemies now go get the king well, i'm gonna get the treasure first of course we got a couple coins there Kind of went the long way around there. Now, you might be wondering what the numbers are for, but I think they're about to tell us. Don't worry. All clear. Plus three coins. Okay. Next. I knew he was too craven to fight. He must have hid somewhere. I'm Gemma, by the way. I left the Phloxians years ago and never looked back. Now I go where I want and offer personal training to those who can handle it. The king hides at the end of the road. All other dead ends contain something useful, like my traveling gym. Now let's find the king. Maybe you'll be the one to finally take him down. These icons tell you there are three enemies hiding along with the king. Okay, so the king is separate from the three, I'm guessing. You're low on energy, but you have a trait called stamina that restores some energy every five tiles that you reveal. Gain six energy every five tiles revealed. Okay, select the highlighted tile to move there and reveal it. Good, let's keep going. So we bonked into an enemy. Yeah, I think we lost a health. Yeah, you stepped on a hidden enemy, lost a health. I got you. I'm the best. <laughs> Dude, you just stood there. Just ignore him for now. He won't attack for four more turns. 
So it'll be one, two, three, and then it'll turn red to indicate they're about to attack for the four. Okay. Listen, enemies only hide on road tiles. Okay. And the number tiles tell you how many road tiles are nearby. Ah. So the three indicates one, two, and assumedly three here, right? That has to be a road tile. The tile you're on has a three, and the, there are two visible road tiles around it. The road leads here, so this must be a road tile too. Okay, got ahead of myself. <laughs> Therefore, this tile can't be a road tile. You need to reveal three more tiles to gain energy. It's like this tile to reveal another. That's right, run away. Your energy is low, but you can use your bow to take him out. You'll never hit me with that dumb bow. Select your bow. What's the deal with the bow? It just has a long cooldown. A cooldown of five, huh? But you should probably use it on cooldown if possible. And it has pretty long range here, too. Okay. Good to know. They only had one health, so they're dead. I was wrong. That shut him up. You're still uh, low on energy, and the bow won't be ready for five turns because of its cooldown. Select this tile to reveal it. The tile you're on has a one, and there is one visible road tile around it. Right, so none of these are road tiles. So you can be sure uh, uh, every other surrounding tile is safe. Move to the safe tile to activate stamina. So this will turn on stamina, give us six energy back. Your energy is full again. This tile must have a lot of road tiles nearby. Let's use a skill there and see what you hit. Move to the six tile. So will this unveil everything, I wonder? If, so you can roundhouse mystery tiles, I guess, and hit them. Ah, it unveils it all. And it triggered stamina by unveiling them all, which I guess is what I would... That's what I would guess would happen, but just to be sure. So we already recovered the energy from uncovering it all. So roundhouse could be something you use to reveal a ton of tiles too, potentially. You'll have to do better than that. So we did hit one enemy. He's a tough one. Your roundhouse has a cooldown. It won't be ready for another three turns. Oh, it also has a cooldown. Luckily, your bow will be ready again in just one turn. They want me to step here. Now the bow is ready. Now, I wonder if these enemies are going to attack whether un they're unveiled or not. There's only one enemy left, and you've nearly cornered the king. Take it from here. I'll see you on the road. So this clearly cannot be the road. Roundhouse is not on cooldown anymore. So the enemy has to be either here or here, right? That's really the only way. So I guess we can roundhouse here and see what happens. We hit something... I think it was like a bomb or something. Okay, I guess it counts as an enemy, though. So now we know there's no more enemies, so we can just yep, go find that. Maybe you, you're supposed to... Oh, you can. I was going to say explore to see if there's any more treasure. Okay. Chase the King, you've completed the tutorial. Now try a full run with the trooper. All right, let's do it, baby. So there are multiple playable characters. Unfortunately, we're going to have to play with the trooper for now. A proud warrior, warrior flocks. Reveal tiles to recharge your powerful attacks. Defeat all enemies for a bonus. Can't even click on the others. We're going to play a normal for now, of course. Of course. Gemma will improve your existing skills. Yeah, this game was a lot of fun. I'm happy to play it again. Flux. Flux. I mean, it definitely gives, like... It scratches this little Minesweeper itch that I don't see in a lot of other places, honestly. Okay. So we're touching one road tile. We don't really have a clue as to whether when it which it could be. I don't know if I really want to throw out a roundhouse now. There's only one enemy, it looks, huh? So now we're touching two road tiles. Let's see. Can we use our minesweeper skills to determine it? What do you think? These two probably? Hmm. Now we're touching three road tiles. It can't really be this and this, so this one kind of has to be safe. I am going to have to <laughs> do something eventually here, huh? Still touching three. I guess we're just going to throw out a roundhouse, and maybe I should have done it sooner. Oh, that's it. It was just a bomb. Yeah, maybe we should throw out sooner because of the cooldown and everything, right? We found the king. Okay. Here we go. Chase the king. Continue. We got three dollars for that. All right, so now we're not touching a road tile. We're not touching a road tile. We're touching two. Is that worthy of a roundhouse? I think doing it early, plus we unveil so many tiles this way, is fine. I think we hit a treasure chest? Do you sense the void at your fingertips? Excuse me? The smith. So we can visit the smith? 
right now in the middle of it? Oh, I guess so. The Void offers you these gifts. Pick one. Recovery. Restore one health at the beginning of each level. Interest. Plus one dollar for every eight dollars held when finishing a level. Cost two dollars to get it. Um, yeah, we'll take the money. Okay, you can only pick one. Gotcha. I guess I should read these other things real quick, right? Plus three gold for defeating all enemies on the map. Gain two energy each time the hero takes damage. Okay. Enemies, enemy clocks are 25% shorter. So faster enemies is on for some reason, huh? Fascinating. So we can come up here. We know that these are safe. We know that's not safe. Roundhouse is back up. So why don't we just go ahead and throw it out here? And apparently we got both enemies. Lovely. All right, all right. Good pacing. I like it. I like it. All clear. And we got the interest, so we got up to 17. It was for every 8, right? So as long as we don't spend anything here, we'll get even more. I believe, right? Let me see this. Yep, because we're at over 16. Okay, not touching a road tile. We see one in the corner up there. Now we're touching two. Hmm, do we... Oh, it can't be here, though. Okay, now we're touching four. Now's a good time for roundhousing. We got one enemy, it looks. Uh, we see something here. What is this? Gemma's a gym. You know the drill. Pick a skill to train. Ah, so it costs money to do it. I see. So the interest can go down to for every six. Does cost. Can I only pick one? Probably. Reducing the cooldown of the bow sounds... Well, if he... To unveil the enemies... Hmm. To use the bow, you have to unveil the enemies, I assume. Actually, maybe you can just throw the bow out there as a risk. That does seem quite powerful. Why don't we play a little bit greedily, though, I guess you could say, huh? <laughs> so this has to be road. This has to be road. This is probably not road, right? I think we can say. Damn, I was wrong. They got me. So you only have one health. Oh, you can't bow that close, huh? I guess I'll roundhouse here. There's one more enemy. Road. These two are road. Hmm. This could be road. We don't know. Oh, we already have it back on, so we're fine. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Tally mistake. We got another shop. We don't know where this enemy is. That appears to be a dead end. The road can split, though, I believe. Maybe this is a decent roundhouse? Aha! There we go. Man, it already got kind of... Like, it had to think extra hard about it, right? Toby's shop. We're at $18, so I might not want to buy anything, honestly. Hmm, let's take a look. You can heal for five, max health plus one, max energy plus two. Oh, those are tempting, aren't they? I'm kind of greedy, though, and I'm thinking we just hold our coins for now, and maybe we spend a lot later on. We try to get the interest is sort of what I'm thinking. Oh, it's nice that they let you go back, maybe. Let me make sure there's no treasure here. Okay. Face the king. All clear. More interest. Let's go. Does that go up infinitely, I wonder? Hmm, maybe. Like, the, there's no cap on the interest, I wonder. Three road tiles touching. Probably good enough, right? Let's reveal it. We got some money. Exploding pineapple. So that's a consumable. Attack a three by three area of tiles within range. Okay. We know that's road. This still could technically be a road. This one cannot because it's already showing three. This has to be road, so we know that this is safe too. So this seems like a pretty good roundhouse. We got one enemy. There's still a lot more though. Okay. We know that that's safe. We know that that's safe. We know that this is road. But this is not going to be road, interestingly. Let's clear that up. What do you think? Roundhouse right here? It's probably touching a lot. We got two enemies there. I guess we're going to save the consumables, right? I don't think this would be road. Okay, that's safe. That, 
yeah, that has to be safe. Touching two now, so it's got to be these two. So this is a dead end or something. Okay, so why don't we go over here? I guess we'll roundhouse right here. Got another enemy. What do you think? Check right here with the bow. Let's find out if we can check. We can. Okay. That might be good just to unveil a random tile. Maybe not random, but a specific tile from time to time, right? Roundhouse right here. We bonked the king. Interestingly. Oh, the bow has to get recharged or something. Hmm. When do you recharge it, I wonder? So it looks like there's very little. So it has to be, whatever the enemy is, it has to be right there. I'm going to use the bow. Not that I thought it, think it really matters. If the energy carries over though, but I don't know if the bow charges do or not. Let's find out. More interest plus seven. Not bad. Stocks go up. Saffron. If we're able to actually spend the money, we might have a pretty easy time. Ah, oh, it does carry over. So it might have been a good idea to hold the energy anyway. So you want to think about the long game here too, right? In between. In betwixt. So I can shoot that thing. It has. It takes a long time. Oh, you can look at it. Action self-destructs and drains 50% of the hero's energy. On defeat, restores energy to max. Oh. So then we probably don't want to destroy it right away. I'm only touching two road tiles here, but I'm thinking we kind of just check them anyway. And I can actually waste some turns here to get the cooldown back. And now I guess I'll destroy this bad boy, right? I could have used the bow, but I guess I want to conserve... I'm thinking we want to conserve the bow pretty good. All right, six road tiles touching here. We got one enemy. There's only two left. We're touching three. One, two, and probably three. Probably three there, right? Well, I guess in the meantime, this has to be safe. This has to be safe. Touching two. So these two have to be road tiles. Okay, you don't want to unveil too much, right? You want to actually save some things to unveil for stamina. Okay, we'll bonk all that. So you want to save the unveiling for when you're actually low on energy, I suppose. Got another enemy. We can't actually tell that this is safe. Oh my god, it actually was road. But we got lucky. <laughs> yeah, we could have tell, told that this was safe, so that was probably a mistake. These two have to be road. So that one should be good. That one should be good. There's still one enemy. I'm gonna say this is probably the best place to use this. We got them. Oh, they move. Action attacks for one damage and moves to a random space. When damaged, moves to a random space. So I have to hit them again. I might have to use the bow, honestly. Right? Oh, so the blue is it filling up. Oh, okay, I understand. I thought it was counting down, maybe. Yeah, I think we have to use the bow. I probably could have played this differently, but... I guess we'll avoid taking the damage for now. I don't know how you refill the bow. Hmm. Good question. I was kind of hoping for another shop by now. Because I feel like we got a lot of money. They gave us so many shops early on. I'm willing to spend a little bit now, you know what I mean? But my greed is catching up on me. How far does that bow shoot? Not far. Okay. I guess we'll throw out an early round. Hey, we got a shop. Gemma's gym. So we can level up stamina so that we get the energy every four tiles. We can level up payback. Gain four energy every, each time the hero takes damage. I guess stamina. I don't think I want to level payback. It is only one coin. Oh, right. You only get to pick one. Nut. I probably would have done that differently then. To be honest. How am I going to get to this guy before he attacks? So they don't deal damage. They just drain your energy, it sounds. 
Touching two, touching five. I don't think there's any chance I actually get to that guy. So I guess I want to just spend my stamina. Oh crap, I can't. Can I bow you at least? I can. Okay. I guess I could have waited on that too. It did drain our stamina. But we should be okay. So there's one road tile here. It's probably that one. Therefore, that would be the same. That would be the same. Okay. Now we can... We attack here, you think? We did get an enemy. They're going to attack very quickly. Guess I'm going to use the bow, huh? Because the roundhouse was going to take too long. Okay, the smith. Let's go. So, is this a new ability? Oh, I think it is. Attack a line of tiles. Six energy, one attack. No cooldown. Flying leap, move to a distant tile in the current row or column. Three energy. I think I'd rather take the spear. What do you think? That sounds pretty good, right? Now we get to have more than one? Sweet. Okay. So yeah, instead of just like... So yeah, like we see the road going this way. It would be much... Oh, it only goes two squares ahead? Oh, okay. I guess I wasn't certain. But still, that's pretty good to switch it up. Because the roundhouse can only do so much here, right? We got another shop. Toby's shop. We probably don't need the heal. Oh, you can re... Oh, it's $1 to restock the bow now. Okay. I think we do buy a few things here, right? I think we start spending. Oh, it's $1 per bow. Wow. What is this? Special. Attack one of the four adjacent tiles times three. So that's a consumable, right? Sounds that way. We're down one health, so I'm not going to buy the full heal, I think. But I don't... I assume the bow's not going to get any cheaper. I guess I'll just restock it to full now. Before I regret <laughs> not doing that. Seven road tiles right here. Although only four to uncover. There we go. We got all the enemies. We found the king. We'll look around here real quick. Also get stamina back up, right? Stamina slash our energy back to full. Yeah, so making sure these land on the right things is probably quite important. Okay, I think we're good to go. All right, feeling pretty strong here. Feeling pretty good. I think I want to level that spear. Like, I wonder if you can increase the range of the spear. I kind of remember using it in the demo a little bit. All right, we got an enemy here. Action reveals a hidden enemy if any are left. Huh. If all enemies are revealed, attacks for one damage instead. Oh, unveiling enemies is bad for us. Because then that means they're about to attack, basically, right? It could be decent. It could actually be mildly helpful at moments, right? Mildly. We got another enemy there. Hmm. Hmm. Do I have to bow them? One, two, three. Roundhouse. This guy's about to go, though. Oh. The bow, I think, is a free action. They were going to drain our energy. Oh, right. The, you refill it. Oh, you're going to get me now. Hmm. Can I pineapple? I guess we'll pineapple here. Yo! We got the quad kill. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Rip our pineapple, though, huh? Okay. I think it's a decent roundhouse, right? Spear along here. Okay. This is all fine. There we go. We want to spend our energy now. There's only two road tiles here, or rather, there was only one in some ways. So that's clear, but there's a bunch of road tiles here, it would, it would seem, huh? Guess he's still roundhouse. Found the king. Okay. We gotta go to the shop, I know. There's still two enemies left. Oh, so you don't have to kill them all. Hmm. 
Oh, that guy might get us. Do I have to bow? I guess I'm gonna bow. Bow costs one coin is one way of looking at it, right? Getting hit. Hmm. Guess I have to... Oh, no, 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 we can just spear again. Spear has no cooldown? No cooldown on the spear. So you could get a lot of energy. Like max energy and spam, spam la spear. Potentially. Map times one. Reveal one dead end. What do you think? I think we're gaining enough interest that I feel comfortable just buying both of those. But we don't need the full heal still, right? Lovely. All right. Chase the king. More energy. More health. We have reached B Bomb City, apparently. I wonder how long these runs are. I kind of like that. Like, it feels like we're moving through different areas and biomes already, right? Let's see. Spear has no cooldown. Hmm. Okay, why don't we roundhouse here or something? We got Gemma's gym. Yeah, you should go to the shops first, right? Yo, spear. Area of effect plus. Yo, 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 yo. You could upgrade stamina again. I feel like this is really useful, though. Only three coins, too. It's dirt cheap. I assume it's three now. Yo, let's go. But you have three health. Anything else you do? Drains 10% of the hero's energy. It's not too bad. Okay, we need some energy back. So now, so that you don't actually damage me, or do you damage me on top of draining my energy? Hmm. I'm not really sure. Bubble tank action attacks for one damage. Okay, so I don't think they would actually... I don't think that enemy would actually damage us, huh? When destroyed, spawns a guard in this space. Hmm. It's definitely getting harder. Got some stamps back. You're about to attack. I guess I need to spear ya. And now there's a guard. You only have one HP. I have to chance this one. Ooh. Looks like I'm gonna have to bow ya. Now. I could chance... You now, either way, we'd have to bow him. So I guess we can do that now. What do you think? These two are road, I'm hoping? It would be very unlikely for this not to be road, but this would be. Okay, so we think we're good to go here, too, then. So, assumedly, that's road now. Hmm. I think we can pretty much guarantee that. So, all of this is road. Zero, huh? Two. It's probably these two. Okay. We could roundhouse right here. There's only one enemy left. Is that the best use of our energy, I wonder? Hmm. Or is this better? No enemies there. Okay, let's go to the smith. Ah, you can give us another new attack. Move to a distant tile in the current row or column. We definitely, like, we have ways to spend our energy now. Gain one turn of plus one bonus. Plus one damage bonus? Yeah. Each time an enemy is defeated. Your attack damage is increased by this amount for the duration of the effect. So it's a passive. I mean, it's cheap. I think I like it better than Frenzy. You could roll it. I wonder what else we could get. I don't love it. So basically, if I beat an, if I kill an enemy, we get one bonus damage for the very next turn, huh? Hmm. Could get upgraded. What else you got? I can't, I'm kind of just curious what else is here. We store one health at the beginning of each level. I do think that's pretty good. Gain three energy reduction when beginning a turn with one health. No... No, I don't want to be on one health. That sounds ridiculous. Ridic. Yeah, I guess we'll take something like this. Oh, is there like a limit to how much stuff you have? I hope not. Uh, either way, we we'll unveil two tiles. We actually know that that's not road, I guess. There, we got them all. Okay. Got some money. We got some money. All right. Chase the king. 
Yeah, we actually we're actually having a hard time spending all of our money. Right? We're certainly not hard up on cash. I should probably buy everything we can. I don't know when the run ends. Stop in the name of the king. So you're the person that unveils uh dudes. Only one road tile here. Is that that takes a turn though, right? It does. Alright, let's go to the gym. Maybe we can kind of head here and try to get them with the bow. Does Gemma's gym cost a turn? Recovery could go up so we get two health. Or the spear again. Definitely the spear again, I think. Oh my god, it's so good. Ooh, we got we got a big. So you are gonna unveil an enemy. There's not a whole lot I can do. Mmm. That is spicy, huh? Okay. How far does the bow go? No. Use that now? Is this a good time for the free energy tonic? Not really. We got some time on this dude. There's another enemy. Luckily, they spawned an enemy near us, right? What do you again? Drains the hero of 10% of their energy. Okay. It's actually not the worst anyway. We're going to roundhouse right here. So they did use their move. Reaction. Okay, so let's just bow this guy so they stop revealing enemies. And we can take our time, kind of. Best we can. Now, it's going to be tough to uh, kill this guy, I guess, right? They have three health. Minus 10%. Hmm. I have to unveil tiles. Do I just have to risk running into these roads here? Because I'm down... Yeah, I'm down to zero. Ah, no. Okay. What do you think? It's time? I took a damage from that. I should have, at least. Huh. God, I still have health, huh? Guess I'm gonna spear you here. One, two, three, four. We know that that's safe. We don't know that this is safe. Okay, we're good. One, two, three, four, five. So these are all... Okay. This is probably more worthwhile. The bonk. Hmm. You want to reveal a lot of tiles with each move, right? When destroyed, spawns a guard in this space. We know... I mean, this probably isn't an enemy. Okay, we're good. I guess... Hmm. I really got a roundhouse here. Feels a bit wasteful. Okay, I'm glad we did. Uh. Man, they're just... They just got the most annoying setup here, don't they? <laughs> Guess I'm gonna do that. Okay, so we know that that's safe. We know that that's safe. 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 Okay, there we go. Let's go to the shop. We got lots of money. Max health, max energy. Restock our bow to full. I will take a scroll of lightning. Target a tile in the current row or column and attack a three by three area of tiles. Okay. Do I just buy a full heal too? Oh wait, we heal after each level. So I guess we don't right now. At least, right? Oh, I can actually use up the bow, then go back to the shop there too, can't I? Okay. But you are the last enemy. What do you do? You just drain energy, huh? Yeah, whatever. Just kill it. All clear, right? All clear. Let me make sure of that. So we definitely don't need the full heal now. Okay. So we want to get our energy back up, though. And make sure there's no treasure around as well. It would be nice to leave stamina on a good number here, too, right? So I guess we'll leave it at three and we'll go. I don't think it's possible anything could have been there. All right, what are we at now? 
Let's see what's going on. You're going back to Phlox in a box. Okay. So the king is being shown to us now. I stash some extra firepower at the dead ends. It's on the house. Okay. Now take that flying Lickspittle down. Attacks for one damage, drops a mine, and moves when damaged. Okay. This is indeed a race. We just want to head straight forward. I guess we'll go ahead and spear along here. Do what we get. Okay. A bubble zooka. Hmm. Free action attacks any visible enemy. How much HP? Oh, there's how much HP the king has. I see. Now, will hitting the king with that prevent him from attacking? Let's find out. You're brave, but oh so stupid. Oh, you also unveiled an enemy. Oh, drops a mine and moves when damaged. Okay. Self-destructs causes one damage. Oh, okay. Hmm. So the bow is a free action, I believe. Right? So I can bow this guy before he attacks. I could also spear him. Uh... Okay, let's spear for now. We unveiled that guy, which was possibly not ideal. I'm thinking we... Oh, I'd like to try to prevent the king from attacking again. So the bow is free. The bow is not free. Okay, only the consumables are. I thought maybe because it was on the right side here, it was a free action. We took one damage from the king. There goes our no-hit final chamber run or whatever. <laughs> This thing's about to go off, and I kind of can't prevent it. Hmm. Because as soon as I move one more time, she's going to blow. I guess we're just going to roundhouse here then. And cover a ton of enemies, huh? You drop the new mine. I have to take that hit. Target a tile in the current row or column and attack three by three. So we could do this. It deals how much? Two damage. It's pretty good because these two enemies have two health apiece. We don't hit the king, but honestly, I think it's okay. Doesn't hurt me, does it? No. I lost another health. Do I leave the king in order to try to prevent this stuff? I guess I will. It also allows me to unveil some more tiles, so the king is going to hit me here. Dang, this is actually kind of tough, right? So I guess I'll just... Oh, he can't bow him here. So now we can bow him. Stop him from attacking. So he's going to drop a mine in a random spot. Okay, luckily it was nearby. Oh, he's down to two health, so he's attacking more quickly. So we can move down and roundhouse. Got kind of lucky there. I'm desperate for energy now, though. Hmm. But it's it's telling us there's actually no more enemies. Okay. We got another bubble zooka. Oh, so we win. <laughs> we win. Goodbye, king. Defeated by a dumb fluxy and impossible. Unlocked a new game plus one. The Phloxians and victory inspires all Bebum to rise up, forcing the king to flee in shame. They return home a legend, destined to never pay for a pint of fermented goat milk again. I kind of liked, like, that that boss fight there was actually... You know, like, we got through the whole game pretty easily, I would say, on the base difficulty here, right? Um, but that boss fight, you can see how it could spiral out of control very quickly. For sure. So it looks like we unlocked a new character. Why don't we look at them at least, right? Count Leo, a highborn assassin, used stealth and mobility to find the king while revealing as few tiles as possible. Hide enemies to avoid open combat. Oh, hide enemies. That's interesting. That sounds pretty cool, honestly. Well, that is Let's Revolution. This is really fun. I actually really like it. It's, it's kind of like a simple yet complex game. E very quick. I like the pacing on it, right? Like, we did a tutorial and a run very quickly. I would say. So I think it's actually a really nice little game there. Check it out. I got links in the description. Again, it's on Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, and it's on Steam. The reviews are going really well for it. Thank you again 
to the publisher and the developers for sponsoring this video. And I appreciate you all watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the deal. And I'll see you in the next video.